Are you being taken for a fool? Or another way to look at this, let's talk about a test that you can apply to people you may experience on message boards or social media that's gonna tell you a lot about them and what their motives may be. So as I'm assuming you saw from the title of the video, we were talking about penny stock shorting, but more so why it is a scam, why it is a con with the way some people portray it. Now why they do that, we'll get to later on in the video. But this video I wanna focus on just why it's, it's quite stupid, it's quite silly when you, was, when you understand what's going on, what the rules are, and what the regulations with everything are. And even if people try to twist and turn, as we're gonna talk about, it still doesn't matter at the, at the core of the issue. Now, when I'm talking about penny stocks, I'm talking about you know, the typical price range you would see on a message board or on so, you know, certain areas of social media, 10 cents and below. So I'm not, when I say a penny stock, I realize some people define them as like maybe three, four, five dollar stocks. I'm talking about penny stocks that are, are literally at a penny, or in some cases, even sub penny stocks. If you've been on message boards where you know a stock's trading for 003, 004, 005, you've, I mean, you've seen it. And what have you seen? Oh, the prices go down, it's the shorts. The shorts this, the shorts that. It's the shorts fault that the prices are going down. If you've never heard of the shorts, I assure you, get on message boards, get on social media, media, it's only a matter of time. But this is all just ridiculous. And what I wanna do is just walk through a couple different examples and then I'll let you decide what you think is more rational. And I, I guess we'll just leave it at that. So the main number here to focus on is $2.50. That is gonna be uh, what all this revolves around. And we're taking a pretty big step here and assuming you can even find a broker that works. But there is a broker out there, maybe you've heard of them, Sure Trader. they're offshore. They do allow for shorting of penny stocks. And as you can see on the screen right now, for any stocks below $2.50, you need to have $2.50 per share, per share in margin requirements. So what exactly does that mean? Well, let's go through a couple examples here. So right here, we're gonna go down two different paths. And the paths are gonna be kind of, where do we focus our capital? So we have some sort of trading account. Where are we gonna actually focus that capital? So for our first example, let's just say that we're gonna do what a lot of people imply out there. Oh, it's those evil shorts. And for this example, let's just say that a stock is trading for one penny. And you're thinking, you know what? I'm gonna short $1,000 of that. So you wanna short $1,000 worth of that stock at a penny. Now, off, right off the bat, is $1,000 going to manipulate a share price? Is $1,000 going to be able to do anything if a stock is trading hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars of trading? Heck, even if it's just trading $100,000 in volume, $1,000 is 1% of that overall volume. So is $1,000 gonna manipulate anything? It's not. And I bring this up because uh, if you're not aware, a lot of people are, oh, Clay, you have groups, you short penny, you know, these, and, and they blame me uh, in conjunction with these video charts I do for causing stocks to go down on these sub penny stocks. And you know, I'm gonna defend myself a little bit while I also make the overall point because you're gonna see, uh, I understand math and I'll just leave it at that for now. But right from the get go, I wanna focus on $1,000 because when you see how the numbers start to unfold, you're, it, it's gonna become very apparent. But remember, these people are implying that all these shorts are manipulating. These shorts are doing all sorts of stuff with these massive amounts of volume. But here, we're only talking $1,000. So $1,000 on, $1, on a penny stock of a penny is gonna allow you to have 100,000 shares. You're gonna be able to short 100,000 shares. Now, remember, that may sound, oh wow, 100,000 shares. Yeah, but it's on a penny stock and you can do that with $1,000. Again, not enough to manipulate anything. But this is where things get just crazy. What does it cost? You saw it from SureTrader, 250 per share. And this is the regulation, that's the rule, the, the 250 rule. So for every share you short below 250, in this case, clearly below 250, what does that give us? Well, that means that you have to have $250,000 capital that's gonna be focused on this stock. $250,000, 
You, you have the, in, in your account, you have a, as part of your margin, that's, that's a quarter million dollars to just short a thousand dollars worth of a penny of a stock that's at one penny. So what happens? Cause you, oh, well, penny stocks are all garbage. They're all going to eventually go to zero. Yeah. Eventually a lot of them go down to zero, but you have to wait and we'll circle back to that word here in just a second, but you have to wait for that to happen. But best case, what can you do from the short side? Well, a stock can only go to zero, which means you would be 100% gain, which means you double your money, which in this case, the best you could absolutely do is $1,000. But here's the, here's the kicker. It's actually, that's not true because unless assuming you hit like the, the perfect, perfect trade where it goes to zero in the very same day, you have to wait. And while you wait, there's margin interest because the way margin works, that's not the point of this video, but you have to pay for the, for the capital of that that's being used. So while you wait and wait and wait, this starts to add up. And because there's such large numbers involved with shares and uh, you know, capital, it's not like your, your profits are going to disappear in a week. I don't want to say that, but every single day you wait, that amount goes lower and lower and lower. So that's, you know, that's one choice to focus capital. Okay. You know, you got $250,000 and you know, that's what it's allowing you to short. Maybe think, wait, why are the numbers so lopsided? Exactly, exactly. So let's go down another path here. And in this path, you're gonna say, you know what? I, yeah, there's $250,000 you know, available that I can kind of uh, maneuver and work with, but I'm just gonna take $125,000 of that. So keep in mind, now you've taken half of that amount. And you're thinking, you know what? I want to do this. I just want to short stock X, Y, Z. But the kicker here is it's like some big board. It trades millions upon millions upon millions of dollars every single day. So $125,000 is like drop in the bucket. Not a big deal at all. And you're like, you know what? I'm just going to aim for 1%. I just, I just want a 1% gain, not 10%, not 20%. Not 5%, not 2%, 1%. I just want a 1% gain. So $125,000, what is 1% of that? $1,250. And that can be accomplished very quickly. You're thinking, well, wait, Clay, but what about the number? It does, on the big share prices, they're not assigning that. There is no 250 rule because the risk profile is drastically different. So right then and there, you don't have to worry about, well, geez, I gotta you know, tie up all this stuff for the 250, no. It's just, it's very straightforward. So this could happen in a day, this could happen in a, a, a couple days. I mean, it, it's 1%. And what does that give you? Well, 1250. Now, I'm not here to insult anybody's intelligence, but I'm assuming you can see that 1250 is more than 1,000. And in order to score that 1,000 as best case potential, you need to literally wait for the thing to go all the way down to zero. So if you were waiting just for it to drop 50%, then the numbers get that much more lopsided. So my question to you is looking at these two scenarios, these two paths, what do you think it makes more sense to focus your capital on? Tie up $250,000 worth of capital to maybe make $1,000 when you have to wait and wait and wait and you're not gonna make 1,000 because remember what that assumes. It goes to zero and it happens quickly because every day that passes, you're being charged interest because you're using margin. Or just use half of the capital, aim for a paltry 1% and you're still getting more than what you did over here. It, this should be abundantly clear to you on what the most logical, what the most sane thing to do is, assuming you have $250,000 worth of capital. And you know I don't really know what else to say beyond that, but this is why the whole sub penny stock shorting stocks that are trading for two cents, three cents, you get the point why, because of that 250 rule. And again, if you don't believe fine, go research the 250 rule. You'll see it, it, it's out there. Assuming you can even find a broker that allows you to short these stocks, but it's seriously, it, it doesn't make any sense. And this is where the whole kind of con comes in. If somebody has been around for a while and if you check their posting history, and they are still talking about the shorts. They are still blaming the shorts. This is what is going on. They are a pumper and dumper, meaning, but they're smart. They understand that at some point they have to dump their shares, but they like people to follow them. 
So they need to save face. So what do they do? Well, they start to set up their ducks so they have other things to blame, other people to point the finger at. And who are these people? The shorts. That's a very easy blame game. So when they're dumping shares, causing prices to come down, the people that follow them, the newbies can't say, oh, well, it's not you, it's, it's these evil shorts. And then they ignite everybody against the evil shorts. And their claims make no sense. Again, I wanna reiterate this because it's so important. This whole example, which is already crazy enough, only revolved around $1,000. $1,000 is not gonna manipulate anything in penny stocks, anything. And the numbers are already crazy enough at only $1,000. Sure, I'm getting passionate about this because I want newer traders to realize what's going on, to realize that anybody that's trying to shove this logic down their throat is doing so A, because like I said, they're a pumper and dumper, or B, out of ignorance. And ignorance is fine. Everybody you know, enters the market ignorant. I was probably one of the most ignorant people of when I entered penny stocks. So I don't say that in a bad way, but hey, now you're not ignorant. Now you know the actual rules. And the final thing here is I can see people saying, well, the rules, Clay, but pe rules are made to be broken. Haven't you ever heard of naked short selling? Naked what? Short selling. There's still short selling going on, so this rule is still going to take place. Well, no, Clay, because uh, there could be brokers that are in cahoots. I don't care if there's cahoots. A broker, at the end of the day, is what's in it for me. And part of what's in it for me is how do I best protect myself? And that's what this ultimately is from a broker's perspective. It is them protecting themselves against a very risky thing, which would be shorting these penny stocks. So moral of the story, is shorting penny stocks possible? Yes. Does it make any sense at all? No. And remember, $1,000. In order to really manipulate these things, what happens if I change that number to 5,000? Now how many shares are gonna be there? And then how much of an account value would you have to have? Still, that's only at $1,000. Let's do that real quick. So let me grab my calculator, just out of curiosity. Spur of the moment. So let's say, again, $5,000 is not going to manipulate anything. But let's just say you want to do that towards a penny stock of one penny. So that allows you to get 500,000 shares. And then remember, in order to do that margin requirements, you need 250. So 500,000 times $2.50. Okay, now you would need $1.25 million in your account to short $5,000 worth of a stock. Again, if, if you're still coming up with conspiracy theories and all that sort of stuff, I guess you're just somebody, you're just not gonna, there, there's no hope in, in helping you. But for most people, um, yeah. And finally, use this as a test. If you see somebody that's been around for a while or anybody that's blaming the shorts, blaming the shorts, say, post this video to them and say, hey, have you ever heard of the 250 rule? And if they come back throwing a bunch of conspiracies at you or a dodge it, and then you watch them more and more and they continue to blame the shorts, they are a pump and dumper. That's what they're doing. They know that in order to save face, they need somebody else to throw under the bus when they dump their shares. Or if you watch a person and then all of a sudden they're no longer blaming the shorts, well, you know what? They were probably doing it out of ignorance because they just didn't know. And that's totally fine. Props to them for changing their ways and being open-minded and realizing what I would hope is common mathematical sense. So use this as a test uh, and you, know, you can do yourself a big favor in terms of exposing who's really trying to mislead you and who's just you know, understanding and presenting things in a, a very logical way. So shorts, blaming the shorts on sub penny stocks, penny stocks, I don't know. Which way would you choose to use your capital? If you are interested in trading alongside me and other traders, then I do offer a private trading community known as the Inner Circle. So the two images that you see on the screen, the one image, if you click on it, it will take you to the Inner Circle page and give you all the details about it. The other is going to be a behind the scenes tour that I personally give so you can see exactly what you are gonna get with the subscription. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then go ahead, check it out, and by all means, let me know if you have any questions.